Good morning from the beautiful Florida Keys. Today I'm super excited because I'm meeting up with Sandy from Backyard Kitchen. She's Guyanese. She's going to be making me a Guyanese feast today. Pepper pot, we got egg ball, we have crab. What else we got? We have shrimp. I think we have a lot of things. Pilori as well. Oh, here we go. Well, Sandy, how are you doing? Very good. You look, what are you making? Pilori already? Yes, I have some pilori here. I'm going to cook some pilori first and then I'll take some of the same batter and put some um, spinach leaf mm -hmm. and also some pak choy and make that like a sahina. Okay. I know you had that in Trinidad. I've had that. I've had that in Trinidad. And it's so good. It's just I don't have the dashing bush to cook it with. I'm, no problem. I'm actually growing it now. Awesome. And then I also put some eggplants in this. So you have a little like an eggplant fritter we call um, oh, bagani. That's the best. And um, and then that like the sahina with the same batter. Awesome. And conch too, but we could not get any conch right now. It was, you know, so quickly put it together with yeah, yeah. Jupiter. So um, next time you come, we'll have some conch fritters. No problem. Pilori, eggplant, uh, crispy eggplant, like fritters. Yes, it's going to be like a fritter with the same pilori batter. Look at this, guys. Look at this batter. Look at the beautiful spices. Okay, so let's do this right here. Yeah, so I'm going to just fry it right Ooh, here. Ooh, in the smoke. Get this fire going. And look at the shell. This is the coconut shell. I don't know if you can see it. But this is the coconut shell from the coconut. We use every part of a coconut. The we make the, we take the palm branches and we make brooms with it, which is like this. this oh wow! Swept. This is from Guyana. Look at that from Guyana, yeah. Yeah, and then we use this like when I'm cooking outside. I use this part to wash the pot because it's so black. And and then we cook with it. And also when it's greener, you use it for chasing mosquitoes because when, when it, it smokes, and that actually takes away the mosquitoes growing up. These are some baji, also known as the malabar leaves or spinach. And uh, then we have some uh, pak choy also that... Yeah, they look different, right? They don't look like pure spinach, right? No, no, they call it, they'll say it's a family of spinach. And it's much better and stronger and more uh, vitamins and all that good stuff for you. So this is the one I did like this. Well, yes, it tastes a little weird, mm. but it's good. You like it? It's good. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, very nice. Good, good. We're using our fingers. Our fingers are all clean. This is backyard cooking. So we're using our fingers, making all different shapes. And I made this batter with some split pea and flour, garden fresh seasoning, and some ground jeera. Oh, yeah. And some pepper also. Basically, batter with spices, right? Yes, and split pea powder. So it's really high in protein. And for all vegetarian friends and things like that, this is perfect. I brought this back from Guyana also. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I wonder what we were gonna use that for. Yes, I know. It was like, so big. It's so big. What are we gonna use it for, Mom? <laughs> no, no, it, it is perfect for this. Okay. Exactly. Let's see, let me see. I think it's finished. Should be. Ah, oh, look at that. Wow. Nice pilori. That was the pilori, which yeah. all look amazing. Maybe I should try one, but yeah. we need we need some sauce, right? Mmm, mmm, it's so good. Nice spices. Yes, wow. Salt. I didn't get to try it. Mm. To no, try it's it perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is phenomenal. Love it. Spices um, with the oh, dough. Mmm, super hot yeah. though. Uh -huh. And I played some. Oh, I'm gonna have like ten of these, man. They're so good. We have jalapenos. We have red and green chilies. Jalapenos are these ones. Mm -hmm. Um, the yellow habaneros. And uh, this is the oh geez, catch bonnet, I think, catch from bonnet, like Trinidad yeah. and mm -hmm. Jamaica. I think I have some green jalapeno uh, habaneros also underneath there. Oh, so habaneros. This is chayote achar, and um, this is oh, the man, chayote. I'm um, I'm introduced now to this um, chayote. <laughs> I've never like had it before. I made several dishes with it now, so I'm learning about it. I love it. And it's uh, very hot. So take a little bit. You think it's the hottest? I, I don't know. That's the it's hottest? hottest for me right now. So her auntie made this one, so she says it's the hottest. Let's look. Can I? I need a spoon, right? Yes, right here. I just get a little, a little yeah, sample. Yeah, please. Oh, you you think it's gonna be that hot? <laughs> nah, he's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so now we're gonna try a pilori with some of the the heat, right? So do you think I should get which one first? Oh my goodness. This one first, right? Get chili in there. Put that on the side, and I guess I'll leave this here. And then I'll get some the spicy one. I'm gonna put on the side. Sandy, you think it's gonna be too hot for me? I know, I, I know it's not gonna be too hot for you. That's why I said there's a limit, maybe. Go, go. Oh, don't, don't forget a mango. Oh, mango too. Yeah, this is mango. 
Okay. Perfect. So I'll go with the hottest first. Hottest first? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit. You too or no? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Oh, yeah. I want to see. Let's go. Oh, my hands have the Pilari mix. So. No, that's good. It's good. <sighs> that is hot. What? Mm, mm, but these Pilaris are amazing. I it's still soft in the middle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, you're feeling the hotness? It's still coming, right? It's coming. It's coming. You know, it made my tongue a little numb. Yes, you're right. Oh my goodness. Oh my I gosh. A little bit of this and um, it, <sighs> it hurts. Oh wow. It's hot, right? I feel it in the eyes already. Auntie Sheila, you made this. Thank you. So I'm going to grab oh, this amazing eye chart with this. this okay, no subject. Just mm -hmm. pick it up with one of the chilies. That's how I like to do it. Oh man. Oh yeah, just like that. Ready? Mmm. You like it? Oh, I love that chart. That's, that's this. That's this fruit. Mm. And I thought since you're from Miami, you might be familiar with it. I'm not. It was it's a... crazy. I learned about this fruit in Trinidad. And then they tell me how different ways that you can use it. Mm. Because I've never seen this in, in Guyana. I don't know how to explain. Right? Yeah. Let me tell you, I made that yesterday and when I tasted it, I fell in love with it. Mm. Because I feel like it tastes better than any of the achar I've ever had made before. So, it is obviously spicy. That's because it's chili. But I love the chunkiness of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a little sweet, tiny. Mm -hmm. It's a, I think it's a fruit or a vegetable, I'm not it, sure. I, I think it's a fruit, right? I'm gonna get one more pilori. I'm gonna try it here. There's the mango sauce, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I gotta do, all the way. I'm really surprised that you ate so much hot food at one bite. I'm excited. <laughs> you like it? This is just appetizers. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Oh, oh my goodness. So. I love this. So get a little more of that with this right there. Guys, I'm in love with this one. What an crazy, amazing, delicious acha. I like the signs of that. Mm hmm. Mm. Nothing like this food. You like it? In Trinidad, in Guyana. I'm overloaded with the heat, but I'm perfect. So guys, look, I'm dividing the rest of the batter for some eggplants and for some um, spinach or bhaji and pak choy. So I chopped up some of these pak choy and I also chopped up from the garden. These are some bhaji leaves. Uh, or they're also called malabar. So it's very popular in the West Indies and also in India. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just throw all this in here and just mix it up. Wow. Yeah, so in India, it's called pakora. Pakora, which pakora. is a vegetable fritter. It could be anything. It could be onion, yes. pakora. It could be one of these, right? Any of these greens. I gotta say though, that, that was one of my favorites ever. I'm gonna take a little bit of that home. Oh yeah. I That's have, so I'm good. I'm you know if I have bowls and so on for you. Oh, do you? Yeah. This is what this house is about. My garden and everything is like that. No matter okay, what, okay. we always have food to give. Always. Baby. You can just throw them in whole, you know what I mean? Yeah, Why, yeah, not? Of course. Why not? Yeah, it's all good for your health. I just mix it in up. Even that batter is pretty good, I mean, in terms of what it has in it, you know? Yes, it's not, just... oh, it's not too hot. This will make a lot more noise because of the water in the spinach or the baggie. So that's why you hear a little bit uh, like water hitting. Yeah, like like almost like a spark, like pop. Yeah. And we'll take this off because it's a little hot and we'll continue the cooking in a little bit. And we have bread, some flat bread going on in the oven and also some pepper pot. Let's go. Shoes off? No, no, no. No shoes off? Perfect. All right, let's do this. Let's go, bread. Wow, what is that? Fat top, I made it. It's a Guyanese dish also. Wow. And what I'm making here is a plat bread, homemade bread. And what I made is a special bread that I've never made before. It's a, a garden seasoning with coconut milk bread <gasps> and also a regular bread. So the name I want to call it is a dumpling bread. That sounds amazing. So Johnny said a few more minutes. Yeah. A few more minutes. I've never. No man, but that looks done. Yeah, it looks done. Not it looks, looks fluffy. It looks hot. Yeah. Wait, it has coconut water in it? It's amazing. And then over here, pepper pot. We'll show the, the, the starting of it later. But um, that's the best. 
She knows David's always hungry, so that. <laughs> That's why I had this, and I figured that um, we'll make it again and have it. But this is ready. Well, this is for you guys to try. And about my little thing. Oh. I made some uh, tapache wine a few days ago, and I distilled it and made some moonshine for you guys to try. What? <laughs> it's about 60%. 60? 60%. percent have some of these guys in here to steam for David, okay? Some of these hot, amazing peppers. So when you go to Guyana, you have to try their El Dorado, right? <laughs> City of Gold, amazing. This is five, so this is like the, the lowest one they got. They have 15, they have 25, I think they even have another one. But we're gonna try the five with some coconut um, water. Coconut water, so water is the best thing to mix this with. I mean, that is a pure tropical feeling. Guyana is in South America, but it's very Caribbean feel, right? Yes, yes, very Caribbean. It's in South Amazing. America and they are part of the Caribbean. It's yeah, not yeah. Even part of the Caribbean, but I know. The, you know. It's, it's different, but the thing is that, because the, the people, everybody who moved over there, very similar to what happened in Trinidad, very similar to what happened in some of those island chains, right? Grenada, uh, Dominica, which I'm going soon. I can't wait. Let's do so this. We're just finishing touch. We'll be putting some uh, fine leaf thyme in there. Some thyme. And, uh, That's like some wild thyme or fine, fine leaf? What is uh, the yes, difference? From the garden here. Oh, perfect. And I. Um, Everything from the garden, right? Backyard yes, kitchen. Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, as many um, spices and so I can use is from the garden. Amazing. Okay. I love it. This is, this is hot. Okay. All right, so this is guys ready. It's ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh we're gonna cut a coconut right now. Oh, look at that. Just grab one. Yeah. Well, these are, I got these for you guys these to try. These are tree in Jupiter. Yeah, these are all the um, tree in Ju the palm in Jupiter. It's not a coconut tree, it's a palm tree. Palm tree people, people mess that up all the time. Like, where's the coconut tree? I'm like, guys, it's palm trees. <laughs> David, do you have coconut skills? You hey, why don't you uh, do it? I, I, yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah, it's one chop. The body, the cutlass? Or the machete is oh. a little bit dull. Yeah, you gotta sharpen that. Yeah. But you see? It's perfect. Yeah, look at that, how this she cuts how it. I see my dad doing it growing up, so. Perfect. And you know what? Look that calls for a quick drink. Look at that. And the jelly. This is, this is what I do. <laughs> when you're in Guyana, when you're in Trinidad, wherever you are in the Caribbean, tropics, Miami, India. Key Largo. <laughs> then tell David what you call it. <gasps> nectar of but the gods. This is a lot. Yeah, yeah. nectar of the gods. Nectar of the gods. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, not it is filling. Yeah. It is so filling. Oh, um, All right, my turn. I just don't want to go too hard. Next time, I'm sharpening the cutlass, okay? So one shot is one shot. Yeah, supposed to do a one chop coconut, man. Yes. But is it will blame it on the machete. It, it's not sharp enough for sure. Mm -hmm. I have a new one in the car. Want to go grab it? Nah, it's fine. I mean, this is about here. I'll just go yes. here. <laughs> and we have cups to pour it. The thing is that once you get to the the edge here. It's amazing when you see the guy. Oh, no, no, no. Here. All right, let's go. I have to see the part when David grates the coconut. Yes, yes. We're going to put them to grate a coconut, guys. Look at, that, look at how much is in there. This is the spoon. Yeah. Jungle style, okay? Here you go, David. It's amazing. And then, uh, let me. It's open. Okay, let's see. Let's wow. See. Look at that. Amazing. So, do you want some? Well, you try. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's for you. Let's try to get in here. Look at that. Oh, this is so good. Feels like you, we're giving a head start on Dominica. Mm hmm. Because they have coconuts there, too. Mm, look at this. Look at how white that is. Nice, thick jelly. Let's try to pull it out, right? Mm -hmm. This is natural spoon. Natural, natural. Like that, straight in. <laughs> You like it? It's phenomenal. Mm. Okay, good, good. It's a little sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys, it's so hot outside. We're going to go inside to have this drink, coconut water, and some El Dorado. Guys, yeah, so uh, David will be doing this El Dorado. Okay, let's try the 15 year old. 
15 years to start and then five is to continue. Always go with the better one first, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah, sealed, brand new sealed, bottle. Right, right. Wow. Look at that color, no, so brilliant, wrong. right? Not too much, we're just starting the day. So, and like so you guys want coconut water with it? Coconut or water. straight? You want to try it without it? Eh. Uh, or no? No, let's just do coconut water. Okay. You can't take away the flavor of that amazing uh, rum. Cheers, cheers, cheers to Guyana, to Guyana. Mmm. There's nothing like rum with coconut water. Wow, and this rum, I fantastic. Hope. This rum is smooth. I've tried it before. The only reason, like I said, I don't drink it as much is because um, a lot of sugar. Sugar. Yeah, yeah, of course. Your dad worked in the sugar. Oh, yes, good, my dad good. worked in the sugar estate, making these guys, guys, you know, no way. all his life, where I'm from, and more and more law, good East Coast side, going okay. towards Burbies. If you went to Burbies. So East Coast side, so okay, going that way. Yes. So New Amsterdam, miles, that yes. way. Okay, 16 got it. Sixteen miles from Georgetown. So there was a sugar estate there, and uh, he was a fit machinist, so he makes all these things and so on. He was, you know. Wow. So, yeah. Um, wow. He would tell us stories, like he would get a sugar cane and the process of it and things like that, you know. I love it. This is so good. Mm hmm. Right? Okay. I guess pepper pot time, right? <laughs> yes, pepper pot. Let's do it. What is that? Try that now? So, this is uh, um, uh, the bottle has been opened a little bit, so it's 35 per, per, percent. I mean, uh, this is gonna be wild. Here we go, Sandy. This is moonshine. It's a little moonshine. Damn, guys. dude. Why would you make this for me? <laughs> and That's like the smoothest moonshine I've ever had in my life. Really? Yeah. I didn't... And this is how much proof? Well, oh, well he. I'm guessing around 35 to 40 proof. Okay, okay. Because I'm not using a, I'm using an upside down pot, a... I mean, it's good though. I didn't okay. feel it. Maybe later you feel it, you know? <laughs> Take this off when it gets hot. That's good though, it's still good. <laughs> nice bread. Look at this bread, guys. Wow. And uh, so we'll cut it, let's... Check it out. Nice. Pillow spongy, spongy, nice. Yeah, super fluff. Mm -hmm. So this is the regular plat bread that we made here. And over here, this is like a dumpling plat bread with coconut milk and garden fresh seasoning. This is the first time I'm making this, so, oops. And I put some spicy uh, pepper in there also. No way. Yes. So you're gonna be spicy. Wow, that looks so good. It looks so oh. fluffy. I'm about to like eat a piece. Yes, yes, help yourself. Help yeah, yourself. should I just try this? Mm -hmm. but I feel like this is perfect to dip into the pepper pot, into the casserole. Mmm. You like? I love it. Yeah? Mm. Which one did you try? I tried the other one, the dumpling is it one. Spicy? Mm -hmm. No, not so spicy. Mm -hmm. Definitely got spices. Oh, mm. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super nice. Oh. This. Something new I tried and I wasn't sure how it would turn out. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Look at that. What I use in this pepper pot is oxtail, beef, pork, and also goat. So it's different, right? Yes. So I put, I think, three meats in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the pork, I use the knee just to give it that gelatinous flavor that you're looking for in a pepper pot. Oh, wow. You normally use the ears and all those, the hoof and all those things. So I put a little bit of that just to give it a gelatinous feel that you're looking for in a pepper pot. It needs it. Mm -hmm. Here we go, we got the pepper pot. This is a different style pepper pot, so we have a mix of things here. So you have pork, you have beef, and you have chicken? Oxtail, no oxtail. chicken. No chicken. Oxtail, um, beef, or beef is oxtail. Yeah, beef is and oxtail. Um, uh, goat. Oh, and goat. Yes. Okay, goat, perfect. So let's just dip the casserole. You just let it soak up. Like that. It's still really hot though. Mm -hmm. All right. I want you to try it. You want me to try it first? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. And it has a, like a little bit of sweetness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. And a little tanginess from a the orange tanginess. peel. Mm. And right here, so we have the oxtail. You have a little bit of gelatinous rice, some fat right there. You like? I love it. Mm. <laughs> what is in this dish that makes it so special? That's a reap, right? <laughs> yes, yes. And it's just the different spices I put in it, and I season the meat first. Mm. So it brings out so much more flavors, you know? Mm. The meat reminds me of brisket. Mm -hmm. How it just falls apart. 
Wow. That's the, um, the part that I use for that is the neck of the... Oh, the neck? Yes. Take this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Try the regular bread. Regular bread. So here, we're going to dip it in, soak up everything. Mmm. Super fluffy bread, perfect for absorbing mm -hmm. any gravy. National dish you got in there, right? Mm -hmm. National it is dish. The national dish. I pretty much make it just like how they make it in Guyana mm. with the cinnamon and the peel of the orange, you know, and just the cast rib. It, it's very simple ingredients. The cinnamon, the cast rib, the fat, the meat. And I also put a little clove in there mm. and also bay leaf. Oh, and the bay leaf. Yeah, you're getting everything. If you close your eyes and you tell me everything, mm -hmm. I'm feeling it all throughout. All spice, all spice leaf, not bay leaves. All mm. spice. John, remind me. It's from my garden out there. <laughs> it, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. With my appetizer, I'm taking half that bowl home. No, yeah, take it all because we'll be cooking another pot on la are, are you gonna Are you going to show us how you eat this or no? No, no, you do it. You I do it, I do it. Yes. Look, I have my own here. Guys, look. Okay, should I? Should I? This is our. Mm -hmm. mm. This like is the whole, You have to have the whole thing. This is, no, no way. You, you eat the whole thing? Mm -hmm. There's no way, no way, mm -hmm. no, no. I'm doing the cooking, okay? I'm not. Doing no the problem. <laughs> it's not too hot. It's not too hot. So, Sandy, what do we have here? Okay, this is carambola or star fruit. Carambola, yeah, carambola, yeah. yeah. Or five finger in Guyana. We of say course. Five finger. And this is preserved with rum and wine and brandy. What? So I'm making this to make a cake later on the fireside for you. So this is before I ground it up. Well, you can. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm. It's like caramelized star fruit. Mm hmm. Right? But there's the flavor of it. So rich. So red rich. Wine. Mm hmm. And I put the kind of um, alcohol I put there too is nice rum. So we ground some up a little bit skinnier so that we can put it in cakes. Well, I would eat more of this, but I'm getting full, Sandy. <laughs> You're filling me up too quick. So these are called moringa seeds. They are indigenous to South Africa, where they're also known as the tree of life. Basically, every part of the plant can be used in uh, searching the objects, like the tree can be used as a tinder, the branches and the leaves can be eaten. Seeds are like a pack full of vitamins, fiber. So do I try it? You should. Wait, let me show you. Oh, here sure. you gotta, oh look, and you get into here and lives in. It's full of fiber. Mm -hmm. It's um. They call it a miracle. And it gives you energy. Okay, so how do we open this gun? You take it out like. No, you just like you pop pinch it. it? Pin it, it. It's like oh wow, it just cracks open like that. Look at that. Oh, this is good. And this is the number one. That's what we use. And we are on our feet so much in the day. Yeah. And this is amazing. I, this I, is our. This is like Adderall. So we just. Oh, it's like Adderall. It's like Adderall. It makes you focus. It makes. So you do I take it? Energy. And you chew it. Yeah, chew it. It's all natural. It's a little bitter. All natural. Is it like Adderall? I, I hate to say this, but I was addicted in college to Adderall. I would take it for tests. But I was just so focused with it. it was well, like and that diagnosed him many times for ADHD and so on. So he's been on all different things. So mm. believe me, I know. Once we went natural, though. So okay. Well, oh, I, I won't uh, lie to you. Oh, go I feel grab like water. Go grab water. something just happened. What, 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 mm -hmm. I feel something. Okay, wait a minute. Are you gonna see the miracle in it? What is this? It's a miracle. It's the Where miracle you... tree. And it's in South Africa. Yeah, it's every. I have them here. I have them in my garden. I will show never, you. I've never seen this. Never Titan, tried it. Yeah, moringa. We cook with it and everything. It's very big in India. Man, I, I would have this in the morning. Like right when I wake up, just take it with my coffee. And then again in the evening. It's amazing. Okay, so next up, we're gonna cook a goat curry, and we're cooking it right here in the backyard. Obviously, Sandy's backyard kitchen. Amazing. So this is my amazing green seasoning, turmeric, ginger, celery, mm -hmm. bandania, pepper, thyme, fine leaf thyme, all blended up into this amazing seasoning that I roasted. But I want you to smell this. Oh, I can eat it all. Oh. Yes. Wow, the turmeric though. Wow. And it's all fresh ingredients. You got cinnamon stick, you got cloves, what is this you got in there? The star anise, coriander pods. It's like my little goodie bag. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put a couple in there. Some cardamom. Cardamom got anise right there. Mm -hmm. That's how you make the delicious arak. And, and then I have some cloves. Also. Yeah, it's jira right there. I don't even know why that fennel. Just put a little bit. You're just making it simpler and put everything in one big plate. <laughs> Turmeric. Put a little bit of that guy over there. 
uh, turmeric I love turmeric ground jeera that's that's ground and uh, roasted you have to smell this oh yeah you like it oh it's so good mm. so I'll put some of that jeera this is garam masala garam but masala. a little spicy so I'm gonna put that in there curry powder some too. This is like heaven. The smell, it's like Trinidad and Guyana mixed right here. Yes. Careful there, careful with the stubs. I, I love the Spanish moss, man. Guys, I love it. Going in to the garden to cook. This is food. epic. Here on our fireside. Got a curry. Uh, go curry. Go curry right here. Whoa! This is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> This feels like I'm in the jungle. Right, that's the feeling I wanted you to feel. This is fantastic. Here, look, put some stuff here, maybe here. So we I just got it there. get the knife out of there. This is awesome. We didn't put our stuff in ice bowls. It's easier this way when you're moving around. I'll put some onions in here to saute up. Purple onions and some white sweet onions. Yeah. I love my onions caramelized first. Mm -hmm. Me too. It, it gives it such a better flavor. Uh, Always caramelize your onions. That's the best way to get some real flavor in the food. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little bit of garlic. garlic. Right? All right, let's go get some curry leaves. We need some curry leaves in here. I have ginger and turmeric, which is great for goat. For a, you know, for a strong meat like goat. I love curry leaves. You can have curry leaves with everything. I'm growing some in front here, but this is my little plant where I just get out and get some. This is curry leaves or carpoli for my uh, Trinidad friends. Break it up a little bit. Yeah, oh, this is a Kerala. I would even eat this. Yeah? Yeah, it's so good. Here you go. Right, let's go put this in the, in the food. All right, so we'll put some of these carpoli or curry leaves in here. You gonna put more fire? Yeah, just to get the nice fire going because it will just sit here and cook. Curry powder, masala, jeera, and all my delicious um, whole whole spices here also. It's all mixed in, so we're gonna add a little water into a paste before we put it in. Wow, it's like the Air Force over here. What is that? Wow. I'm gonna add a little water to make it into a paste before I put it in. And this is all with the garden seasonings, garlic, onions, thyme, um, Cuban oregano, and some bandania, and celery. You wanna get all that amazing spices together out of it, you know? To get, we call this bunje or bunjal. Bunjal. Mm -hmm. It looks yeah. like an amazing curry paste. So you see all my masala, garlic, onions, all the delicious flavors are all mixed in and cooked. And now we'll add our the goat. And this is the goat that's chopped up and the seasoned. So the flavors I seasoned overnight so the flavor gets into it. Put that in there. I'm just stirring in the the, the sauce, the curry paste, the masala, all into the meat. All right, so what do we got there, potatoes? Some potatoes, I'm just uh, dashing some potatoes in there. John loves potatoes and I'm sure you guys love potatoes too. And stir this all together. Did you have goat curry in Guyana when you were there, David? Uh, I don't think I had goat curry. Oh, I'm glad, you're gonna try this. Sandy gave me an option, she goes beef or goat? <laughs> we have to go goat. Goat. I like goat. It's a, it's a little more of a lean meat. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, and what are you adding here? This is a garden seasoning. It has um, celery, basil, like Mardman poke we call, but here it's a basil, and also some celery. Shallots, guys. I'm putting some shallots in there too. Look at this beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's so nice. It's cooking up. Very nice. You got some huge potatoes in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be so oh, good, guys. What are we gonna do? Go. Ready? Oh, what are we doing here? We're gonna throw so here. David, you throw some of the chilies in there with the salmon and everything. Maybe some more? <laughs> no, no. No? <laughs> okay. Maybe some green chilies, a few yes. green chilies. 
We're not gonna let it break up because I already cooked it with pepper, so those gonna just steam in there for him. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be quick, he right? Loves hot. I love that's hot. You're the first American that I've met that likes so much hot food. I mean, I can't believe you ate the whole pepper. Well, I'll bring it to you. I'm not American, I'm world. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God, my eyes, my eyes. This is like a real, like, I guess like a, you'd call it a jungle fire because you put this uh, <laughs> six, you know, pieces of bricks, you put the little thing on top so you can put the paw on top and then you put the wood, that's it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. David, you can try this now. You can try a little bit of it. Like a try so? Yeah, just take a little, take a little. with your finger. It's like, you, I need some curry leaves though. Glasses and everything. Mm. Oh. His fingers are clean. Mm. Oh, they've been washing mm. and cleaning. You like oh it? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, look at it dry. He's, he's chatting. He's chatting the spoon with his it's finger. It's so good. You mm. like it? I, I'm in love with it. This yeah. is delicious, yeah. I mean, what I love about this is it's all just natural ingredients from the backyard. She has the curry leaves here, all the ingredients. Wow, my eyes are melting right here. I'm gonna get out of this fire. And I will just... David, this is like a pressure pot. When you close that thing, it's amazing. It will cook rubber <laughs> and make it tender. <laughs> That's a how amazing this pot. It's a Dutch oven, I have it. It's been around for 75 years. This pot is 75 years old. And I bought it in a garage sale. See, amazing, I love it. So we'll check on this and we'll add some water and see if it's finished bunjaying or bunjali. Look how good that's looking. You see that? Look, look at that bubbly, bubbly. Let me stir it. See, David, when it starts to burn like that at the bottom, that means it's finished. And that's when you want to add your water. Add some water. And just let it simmer on a low heat until tenderized. So we'll check this back in 15 minutes. Wow, look at that. It's good. It's cooking up, tenderizing. Mm -hmm. So we'll let it cook down a little bit more. And let me check on the meat, it's cooking nicely. So this will just stay here and uh, simmer. All right, before we make the crab and the shrimp, we're gonna go and make some roti. Uh, we're making some roti or basop shot, and this is the way that I'm making it. This is just some flour, regular uh, rose flour. And I'm gonna put some baking powder, just like about a teaspoon. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of salt, very simple ingredients and it's so delicious. A little bit of sea salt or Himalaya salt. And over here, this is some ghee. So I'm gonna put some ghee in here also. It's like thick ghee, huh? Mm -hmm. Gonna mix it in. We're trying to make the dough and let it sit for about five minutes and then we'll roll it out again and put a little bit more ghee and oil and then re-roll it and let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes and then you can cook your roti. You can let it sit as long as you want, but we are on a limited time. So adding some water, just like start to bring it together, like kneading. Almost there. Yes, almost. I don't, you don't want to put too much pressure in it because um, this is a paratha roti, so not very much pressure. Paratha in, in Trinidad, you say boss up shot. And in Guyana, we say I'll roti or clap on roti because we're going to be clapping it with our hands and David is doing it. I know he's going to be burning, but he's trying it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be good. And that's about it. I let it sit for about five minutes before you oil in here. Now we're going to, uh, we are going to put the oil to this here. I like playing with my food. This is fun for me. You got to see the other one too. What I'm gonna do is put some of this ghee and oil mixed together. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Put that in there. My mom always sprinkled a little flour on top. I don't know why. I think it makes it better. And then I roll it. Yeah, it almost has got perota. Good. Look at that beautiful. And you just stuck this in there and it marinates and with the oil and the flour and tenderize for cooking. So what is this? This is a dragon fruit from my garden in Jupiter. Let's cut it open. This is a white dragon fruit inside. 
Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Look how delicious that looks. So good for you. It hydrates you, full of fiber, and um, it, it really and it's very low in calories. So you want to weigh, use, lose weight? This is the miracle. It truly is. Look it up. See, so peel like a banana. <gasps> oh yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Did you run? Oh my gosh. So healthy. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's so good. Dragon fruit, huh? Mm hmm. Dragon fruit, guys. There you go. So I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil oh, also yeah. here. Same. This is some Argentinian shrimp. They are very big and they're red, not because they're cooked. That's the color of it. It's, it's a red Argentinian Fun. wild shrimp. I love it. It's like lobster. It's one of our favorite. How big it is? And I leave the tail on there so I can grab it and eat it. Some of this delicious seasoning, I'll just marinate it and we will make a nice quick curry with it. A dry curry. I'll just put a little bit of onions, a little bit of shadow benny, some shallot, all that good stuff in there and just mix it up. And the seasoning already have um, hot pepper. You ever had it? Uh, I don't know if I've had this one. Oh. I haven't been to Argentina yet, so oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. We buy this at Costco. Oh, at Costco? Costco, yes. We're, we'll be cooking some crab curry now. So this is some crab here that's already seasoned. And I steam it, so um, not very much cooking. It just you have to cook the spices and the masala that you're putting in. Putting in some onions to fry up or saute up. We are making some crab curry with coconut milk. Some fresh garlic. Wow, it already smells great. Some sweeter onions for a garlic butter flavor. Some garlic. Crab with tomato, with um, coconut milk. And I'm also doing a garlic butter uh, crab. I'm putting some of these fresh tomatoes in there for color. So some masala, some jeera, curry powder, and turmeric. Green seasoning. Green seasoning. Everything from the garden is all in here. Call it green seasoning. But it's easier to blend up everything when you do several dishes. Put some peppers in here. <laughs> You're wild, Teddy. <laughs> hey, he likes his food hot, okay? I do. So I'm trying to make it spicy. I'm gonna put some uh, uh, green seasoning fresh. And over here also. Remember the crab is already finished cooking. So um, we just want to pretty much saute this, uh, all these spices and throw into the crab. I'll break that up to get, for the spice to get in. And then we'll put some extra spice in it. Look at that. Spicy. Just adding a little oil just to get it cooking a little bit. So the juice of the flavor of the pepper get into the it's curry. Nice hot. Mm -hmm. This is some coconut milk that um, David will be grating a coconut and I'll show him the process of grating. If not now, next time he comes here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this in here. You want that nice creaminess on the, of the coconut. This is what you want. You don't want cream. You don't want heavy whipping cream. You want coconut milk. Yes, you see how nice the is there? Oh yeah, there? it's so good like that. It's Kerrygold and it's an Irish bottom, all grass-fed butter. I'm not a big fan of butter, so when I use it, it's for just for cooking. And this is healthy butter, guys. Grass-fed, right? Yes, I'm putting salt in both. All right, this is what's going on That's right what now. It looks like before That's a blue crab, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, blue. Wow. I throw some of the shadow ben in there, some of the shallot, all the fresh seasoning in there. A little bit, a little bit more butter. Garlic butter. Oh wow, garlic butter. Yes, exactly. I want to cook it dry, so all the spices and so are in there. It's way better, way easier to eat this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna be a lot creamier. It's gonna be a little more messy, but 
Yes. I'm excited for that one. This that one looks so good. good. Oh, the cream. I'm just gonna put the lid on here yeah. just for it to steam. Perfect. And we have these guys. So mm. we're gonna do, this is our curry coconut milk crab. So let's put this in here now. I can't throw this one around. <laughs> no, no, this one you have to go slow. Yeah, and then I'll work that sauce in there. That sauce is already cooked. And just work it. I wanna make it dry like this. You can add water to yours if you want, but uh, I like it. I want to make it this way. Oh, that's delicious. Green seasoning also, and let it steam for another two minutes. And it's finished, guys. Curry crab with some fresh coconut milk. Oh, you smell that? You smell that? Ah, it smells so good. Smell it, smell it. Oh, you smell that, this is right? Like, this is like South India right here. <laughs> wow. How long do you cook it for? Um, just like one minute. One minute, that's it? Yeah, All right, yeah. so done. Because it's already half cooked. Yeah, yeah they're already boiled, right? Yeah, so. yeah. so I'm just letting that, uh, like just one other minute. And then, um, then we're we'll good. do the shrimp. We'll be doing a nice curry shrimp yeah, also. You love curries and you love spicy. I love this woman. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, guys, this is finished. Just throw some. See, this is my favorite up. though. And this is also finished, check it out. The curry crab is finished. I made it thicker. And now we're gonna start. We're gonna make the shrimp. I'm using some avocado oil. We're putting some onions. We're doing yin and yang. Okay, look. Putting in some garlic, tomatoes. We have some curry leaves we'll also put in there. You like curry leaves, right? And this is a quick curry shrimp. It's an amazing shrimp. I'm gonna put my masala, curry powder, wow. and uh, turmeric in there. What's amazing is the curry, the leaf, smells so fantastic. Mmm, you smell that? I let that cook up a little bit before I put the other seasoning. Special magic seasoning, everybody. I uh, want to know what it is and it's it's so simple. It's, I put garlic, onion, ginger, turmeric, thyme and bandana and also celery. Guys, these are some Argentinian red wild caught shrimp. So we seasoned this earlier and now we're gonna cook it up in this nice curry, dry curry flavor. Perfect. They taste like um, lobster. I'm sure they're gonna taste like lobster because they're so plump, they're so big, yeah, yeah. so juicy. And they even get bigger, they will even be bigger. Oh, they expand? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. you can buy bigger. Oh, you can buy bigger, buy bigger. And put all these nice things, the little extra green seasoning, some scallions in there. And now we're gonna stir this up. Wow. And uh, I'm not gonna put any coconut milk. Or you can do that also, or any water. I'm gonna just let it cook on a slow heat until it's cooked. And I want it, uh, this flavor, this color, not um, wet, but more on a dry flavor. It's a dry roast. Dry, dry roast. We'll fry some of the scotch bonnet. Not too much, not too much. Okay, I'll put a little bit in there. We have our friend here who can't have spice. Sorry, I can have a little spice. No. I'd have to like, it's just, I have only and a little bit to get. some of these for David. <laughs> he likes it spicy. I like it spicy. Pardon me? You're all back at the seat. I don't know. Yeah. This so is, this is. Woo! <laughs> Hot. Okay. So next stop is roti, some parata. i roti, bus up shot. I'm excited. And David is making his own roti. Am I? Yes, yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Crab, shrimp, we are done. The only thing left is? Roti. Roti. Some clapan roti. Some clapan roti, look at this. <laughs> look at this feast. <laughs> uh, you know, I feel like I need to bite one of these. Bite? Or a chili no, no. or chili? One of the shrimp. No, it's too hot. Uh, look, he's grabbing one of the shrimp, guys. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <laughs> You can't leave any of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was curry flavors. Mm, it was dry roast. Oh, you like it? I can't wait. Oh, good, good, good. That was not too bad. It wasn't too hot. Good, good. Not too spicy? Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to make it spicy. Not too spicy, we but wow. A, we, can, we, we have spices on the side if he needs more spicy. And plus, we Amazing. have all those extra peppers there. <laughs> extra? 
extra. Oh, look. You mean it was extra? Oh, my oh, goodness. My look goodness. at it. Oh, can you eat that? That's crazy. I'm crazy. Forget hey, look, pepper. It. I know. I will put a pepper on my chest eventually. Yes. yes. Mm, that was good. This is not bad. Nice, nice. The, the so spice. Yeah, it's my, too hot. Put my wee wee on your chest. <laughs> what? Yeah, my wee wee pepper. Come on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. It's already 3 p.m. Been here uh, five hours and we're just getting started. We're gonna see if the the beautiful goat curry, not curry goat. Let's check on this. We just leave it there on the heat. Look at that. Wow. Oh, now it smells amazing. And now we're gonna add the, the potatoes. Back in there, we took out the potatoes. Oh, you took them out? Yeah, so because it takes less time and the goat takes a little bit more time. And now we add, back, add everything back in there. Wow, that feels tender, man. And I have some nice juice for rice. Here, you have to try it. Try it now? Yeah. Like that? Ooh! <laughs> mm. Need a little bit of salt? Oh my god. That is... Mm. It's good. It's nothing good. else, nothing it's else. It's good. Wow. Guys, the goat curry is finished. With some potatoes. Let's take this big giant almost spot upstairs. It's the Guyanese flag right here. Look at that, oh, the, yeah. colors. the colors. It's amazing. And you have the jaguar in there too? Oh, the jaguar, yes. So we'll be cooking some bus up shot, oil roti, clapan roti, uh, paratha roti. And uh, David, guys, David will be making a roti too. Lower the stove a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Crisp. We're using a little bit of ghee with some um, olive oil mixed in together. Oh, wow. So you mixed olive oil in there. Uh, I have my stick. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That stick. Look at that stick. Ooh. <laughs> I like my fingers better. It's almost done? Yeah. So we're gonna clap this with our naked hands, okay? Ready. And David also will be doing this, okay? Yeah, look at this, this is clap. <laughs> Ooh, look at the flakiness of that, look. It's fluffy. Ooh, hot, hot. <laughs> West Indian vibes right here, guys. Here we go, let's rock and roll. So, roll it out. So we're good here? Yeah, yeah. you wanna make the ends as thin it. as you want, as you can. Okay. I can add a little bit of flour if it's sticking. <laughs> Guys, David is making paratha roti. Mm, the paratha. Boss of shot. Um, I'll roti. Look at him. Here. So many different names. So many All, different Always the same thing though. Yes. <laughs> you got yes. this, David. You got this. I got this. All right, so ready? Yeah, put it on there. Great job, David. <laughs> so, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. I know you said to do that. Oh my god, this is so much fun. This is awesome. Here we go, and then just like that. that hey guys, if you have a brush, you can use a brush. Exactly. This, this works as well. And then flip it again and add a little more, yes. right? Okay, perfect. And wow, that Florida weather. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh. Oh, I love this. This is absolutely phenomenal look at that nice ghee <laughs> look at that it starts to get crispy it starts to puff up right there that's mm -hmm. when you know you're doing something right right oh yes. uh, this is my roti right here yes yes and after this i'm gonna burn my hands <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness you want a napkin you can put it on it or you want to try it this way no i do it raw okay, okay burn these hands okay your hands were made to do this right yes all right so is this ready you think it's done yes it's done so just one more oh look at that now it's so, done. Woo! All right, so do I do it myself now? Yeah, you put it like you fold it, it's easier. And then you kind of hold it to end and it's try to clap it. Smack it twice, it. drop it. Smack it twice, drop it. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> hot, right? Too hot, too hot. Do it again, do it again. Type of boy. I mean, that's how you do it. They, yes. they, you know, they do it the same thing in South India. They make a parota like that, like bah, 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 on the table. Mm -hmm. They like smash on the table so they don't burn his, their hands too hard. And, <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. And I think there's perfect. Hold them and peel it. Peel, and yeah, look, look at this. Look at all the layers. Look at, the layers. look at this beautiful Ooh. layers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Nothing like a roti. Roti. So I have um, smallest to the biggest egg balls right now as what I can get around here. So we have some quail eggs. Check it out. There are quail eggs in there. I'll put some quail eggs in there. These are regular eggs. And we also have double yolked. Let's try this. Let's see how it's going to work. Making some egg balls with uh, mashed cassava or yoka and uh, some nice fresh seasoning. I have some more in there. That's fine. Okay. That's very nice. Tiny mm -hmm. little poppers. Little poppers. There you go. Let's, let's see if all can fit in there. They're already cooked. All you need is to cook it a little bit in the oil. It's done. And it's finished. So if you guys don't know what egg balls are, basically eggs with around it, we have cassava. So it's not battered, it's mashed cassava. Yes. Sounds amazing. Yes, yes. And this is the street food in Guyana. This is number one. It's amazing, I love it. And are we also having quail, quail eggs also. Taking it out, it's a little soft for some reason. And I think, which is okay. Uh, these guys are soft. We'll have to redo this. Oh wow, these guys are like done. Yeah, but it still tastes delicious. No, it's fine. Actually, mm -hmm. You know what? They're gonna be the most delicious egg balls ever. I know, nice it's all fresh. loose apart. I think that uh, for some reason they get too brown, but we will redo. So what do we have there, Sandy? We have some conch polari. Uh, conch is a shellfish. And let me show you the shell, um, the, where it came from. This is what that um, fish so came from, a conch. This is it. Back home, you we actually will blow it <laughs> for when people no selling fish. Yeah. Because it will blow really loud. I can't do it, but let's try. <sighs> I can't. Ah. Do it. But they, they put a hole there and you blow it, and it's like loud. And oh, if this. you if you do this, if you put it to your ear. Oh, you can hear the ocean. You can hear the ocean. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. Nice. And if you leave it outside, it cooks. No, if no. you leave it outside your house before you enter, it brings good love and energy to your home and those who enter. Wow. You always yeah. want to have the conch keys, conch rule, life. You keep it outside your home and those who enter are blessed with love, prosperity, and goodness. So guys, let's put some conch polari in here. Conch is a shellfish and we're using the polari batter to cook it. Guys, this is a key. This is a conk. It's a key westy, uh, South Florida thing, right, Tommy? Florida conk. Yeah. Florida conk. Okay. Put all of them in there. Throw these guys around, making a full pot. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Really good. I think this might be your favorite, um, David. I'm sure. I think this will be your favorite. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. So good, right? Mm-hmm. Pilori conk. Or conk pilori. Oh, conk <laughs> So we're adding some right. eggplants. To the, the same pilori mixture. We're going live, I'll leave it on, otherwise gonna stop it, because we have those things going. So it's like the vegetable fritters, like you said, but with the pilori mixture. Mm-hmm. So guys, hard. look, uh, you can no. mix it in there, and it's like a bagani with the bhaji also. These are all like sweet food. Just lots of oil. That's all we needed. <laughs> hey, it's street food, okay? Yeah. Street food is not quite Healthy. the healthiest, but it's the tastiest. And you don't do that all the time. I mean, you do it like what? Once in a while, you know what I mean? Like every day. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, let's just uh, take that. Yeah. We have some paper towel here for excess oil to drain. Wow, beautiful that is. The color is amazing, right? Yep. The only reason I don't put like the red peppers and the green peppers, bell peppers, to give it colors because I'm pretty much allergic to those kind of peppers. Yeah. This looks very yellow, so a lot of turmeric in this? Yes, I put a lot of turmeric. It will give you that nice glowing skin. Turmeric is amazing. So we are done. Everything's cooked. We got crab, we have shrimp, we have goat, we have pilori, we have eggplant. 
Uh, we have con uh, conk, uh, uh, egg balls. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. And bread and pepper pot. Oh, hold on a second. You try that, try that. Oh my god. Conk? Yeah. Like it? Mm. Mm. Eat like a Let's go eat. Go eat, go eat. Okay. Go I'm making some cerny. Right now, I'm toasting the butter and with some flour. This is coconut flour. I'm using coconut milk too instead of evaporated milk. If I was uh, had all my ingredients, it would have had a hemp seeds in it, including some freshly grated coconut. But I think we can get the freshly grated coconut part in here and have that really nutty taste. That's amazing. Got to do this um, this little stirring process, just slowly toasting each side of it for about 15 minutes. It's a really slow process, but it's interesting because you get a little while to think. Patience, it teaches patience. you patience. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm, of course. Patience is a virtue. It looks great. And then he made this too. This is something in Guyana. The top is a corn pone dish. Oh, it's a pone. And it has freshly grated coconut, coconut milk on top with sugar that gelatinizes into this delicious thingamajigger <laughs> and it's amazing and yeah. the best part is that this has a whole dragon fruit in it so for me a palm is like a, almost like a pudding right? yeah yes. similar right exactly same consistency but this has all the dragon fruit this is amazing i'm gonna try it right here oh it's a little top mm-hmm Almost mm -hmm. like a you know, bread pudding. Exactly. Mm. But with all those healthy things. I'm not gonna double dip, but I would. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. We got oh, wow. We gotta put a pepper in here. Got some crab here and some, and some peppers. peppers right there. Oh. So Sandy, super, super generous making us this huge <laughs> feast. Wow, Sandy. Oh my goodness. This is. I love cooking, so I can just cook all day. All you need to do is try the fruit and, um, you know, enjoy it. I love cooking. It's my happy place, truly is. When I'm cooking is my relaxation, is my meditation. No, for sure. So w w I'll be cooking all the time. It's, I it's love part it. of your life. Mm -hmm. It's part of me. So how do we start this thing? Oh my goodness, look at this. Like for me, shrimp, I just take them, right? So I can yeah, man, one. just take, yes, yeah, take. Like take one like this. So, Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're out oh here in the, in the yard, guys. So Lickers. out in the open. It was so delicious. You like this one? So succulent. I love it. It's like a nice roast, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Ready? I'm gonna try this. I haven't had a chance to try it. Let's try this, guys. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. good, right? Mm -hmm. Nice masala. Love and the curry, mm -hmm. the curry flavor. Curry, curry mm. leaves. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. I'm gonna try next the conk pilori. Mm. We made this one up, guys. Mm. Right here. It's like. Oh, mm. try it with your sauce. Oh, with the sauce. The, um, this is a chayote achar. Mm -hmm. Get that in there. Yeah. Marriage from heaven. This incredible go curry. Look at this nice little bone right there. <sighs> Just pull it off. Oh my gosh. You like it? Mm hmm. Mm. Is mm. it tender enough? You see, we left it's, it there on the fire side tender. on a low heat. On a low heat. I'm just gonna grab another piece right here. Mm. Oh my god. Hey, look, I have to try it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have to try it, guys. That's like butter. Mm hmm. So check tiny. it out, check it out. This is uh -huh. a, like, oops, oh. fall in the achar. Mm -hmm. It's all good, it's all cooked. Let's try that. Oh my gosh, look at that piece. Mm. So tender. So very, much flavor. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. If you mm. want, you get another potato. I can pull one out. Mm. 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 Nice. The oh, sauce so goes into the potatoes. That you know, throughout the potatoes, you can taste the curry. Mm -hmm. They're infused into it. Mm -hmm. I might forget it when we haven't tried it, but like, we haven't tried crab yet. No, no, right? no. And That'll be messy and roti. And roti. So what do we want to do? Um, pear pot. Well, we yes. tried pear pot, right? I yes. can just grab a piece right here. Yes, it tried. It's like that. That's the oxtail right here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. 
good, good, right? I know. That's cinnamon. Hey, mm -hmm. get some sauce in there. Get some sauce. Get some sauce. I, I don't even have a plate. I'm like literally just eating from here. Oh yeah. Oh, Guys, what is that? The pepper pot was delicious. So delicious. Mm. Drown it. This yeah. is just for him, guys. Finger buffet. Incredible. Mm. Finger buffet for sure. Mm. Wow. Okay, I'm blown away. Everything's so good. This, number one for me. Number two. Number two. Yeah, pie, yeah, yeah. 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 So well, wait like, a little bit, no wait pie. a little bit. When you, when, you have, when you have with the roti and that. Pie. So that's a crab. Crab. How do we eat the crab? Just pure yeah, like this? Yeah, man, just get your fingers in there. Yeah, we should probably get a plate yeah. just yeah, to drop, plate. All the, drop everything into it. Okay, I'll just move the roti back here mm -hmm. just for a second. I'll get all my, my garbage here. Sorry, we'll clean this later. <laughs> okay. So I get a crab, and the way you do it is just go in, mm -hmm. crack, mm -hmm. like that. Then you go in and you start to like, yeah, just open it up, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. It's going at the muscle. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. That's so good. <laughs> That's the so purpose. Soft. You have all that flavor attached to it. Mm -hmm. Instead of in a too much sauce, you know? Oh wow. You can have it also with the sauce. It's so freaking good. Mm. It's delicious. It has, you know, nice seasoning, but super light at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. Let's open it up. Pull it out. Here, so, I'm gonna try so, one also. Yeah, yeah please, please. Let's do I really need to get into here, like. Yeah, yeah your fingers will get dirty, okay? Mm. Fingers will get dirty. Oh yeah. Mmm. It mm. is good. That's oh, so good. Crab's one of the harder things to eat. <laughs> We're me. sucking it. Mm -hmm. mm. And look, you gotta um, get all the seasoning out of the, the little mm. feet and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if these feet don't have like that much meat, you still go in and crack. It's the flavor, is the flavor, mm -hmm. right? Today I'm on delicious tear. Mm -hmm. Everything is fantastic. Wow. Oh yeah. Then we have on, this, on the left, we have the... Mm -hmm. This is a curry flavored with coconut milk. So let's grab one of these? Yeah. I'm gonna oh, grab you know a claw. claw. Um, yeah, but, uh, oh good, you use your teeth? Mm -hmm. That's why we have a cl claw mm. thingy in here. No, use your teeth. So the way I do it is I go with that. Yeah. Oh, so use your teeth, just like... I always use my teeth, yeah. Of course, and then I get in here. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm falling out oh. literally falling out let's go with that you can you can you, you yeah i made it also you can eat it with rice yeah, yeah that curry rice you can soak it up in the rice mm -hmm. your personal napkin and your oh personal thank you napkins. so much thank i know you. personal napkins <laughs> mm -hmm. i wouldn't suggest biting like that uh -huh. Break it tooth, but mm. Mm -hmm. that's how we do in the jungles right yes we are in the backyard <laughs> Like that, and then inside here, you can literally get that little claw and pull it all out. Mmm, so amazing out here, jungle, huh? Backyard kitchen. Uh, behind this big amazing tree, I think it's there like a hundred years old, oh, maybe. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's the beautiful thing about Florida, right? We're literally living in a living it, jungle. This is finger licking good, mm -hmm. okay? Finger licking good. I would suck this whole thing. Like, I'll grab another piece here. Mm. You like that sauce? Mm. <laughs> mm. He loves the sauce. I love the sauce. Mm. It's can, like can you soda. taste the ginger? I I just tasted the ginger. I taste everything. Mm -hmm. The turmeric. Mm, look at my fingers. <laughs> oh. It's messy. I know. I know. It's mm. messy. This is the crab with the coconut milk curry. Hey Tommy, can you Guys, grab us? Uh, I'll tell you, mm, it's so yeah. fantastic. This yeah. now is number one. I thought pepper pie was number one. Napkin, please. Um, you want all this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the best. 
I'm glad you like it. This is, is number it one. Uh, do you want some more spice? Um, yeah, like right. pepper sauce to go with it? You know, I don't need it. Okay. Like it's good. It's flavorful that way. It's just amazing flavor. Mm -hmm. And these are the Florida blue crabs. Mmm. Locally. You know, what, usually what I don't like about crab is not enough meat. This one has a lot of meat. Oh man, let's break it up. Bite into it, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sauce keep going. It goes forever. Oh my gosh, that sauce keep going. Wait until you try it. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Wow, and then you go like this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> it is the way. So what do you guys think? Would you eat this food? Guyanese food in America, cooked by one of the best chefs ever. Mm hmm. Oh. All right, David. Mm. You guys do a little wash. We have water. Oh, a little wash. Start? You want a fresh start? <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Good. You want to keep yeah. the flavor on the fingers? Yeah, yeah. No. You, oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, do I get rid of like, What is that? Look, it's lemongrass. It's uh, lemongrass. Uh, it is lemongrass. Lemongrass, <laughs> lemongrass pot, paper towel holder. <laughs> so she makes her tea and she takes a pinch. Oh, does she? Yeah, all this good. Oh, thank you so much. This is where did this go? Oh, I was like, where did it go? With some lemongrass water. You want to make a tea later? Uh, I think I'm okay with that one. There you go. It's like a curry lemongrass water. <laughs> all right, it's so good. Thank you so much. Wow, I'll go in here and get some more of this. Mmm. So what are we missing? Egg ball. Egg ball. Egg planting. Oh, the egg plant. plant. Oh my okay. goodness, you have to try the egg plant. So let me get one of these. So this is the egg ball. This is a quail egg ball. Quail egg. What do we add to this? Anything? Oh, these sauces. The mango sauce. So the mango. Okay, let, let's do the mango. Uh, where's the mango? Right there. So I'm going to add some of this. Ooh, I lost it. It's okay. It just fell apart. <laughs> wow. Mm hmm nice soft crumbly mm. and this is super light the mango sauce this i think is my favorite though yeah we have the sauces yes yes for sure this achar so mm. i'll get one of these this is the eggplant and i'll get this for sure achar always guys it's like that yeah, i'm gonna top. try one with yeah, you, you have to see this look at this how beautiful this is <sighs> ready let's see Mmm. Mmm. Veggie pakora. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the best. I know what you mean by it. Wow. Mm -hmm. And this is a veggie with eggplants and uh, the, the green veg um, leafy veggies. Mm -hmm. The combination, nice and oily, crispy. This top was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. I'll say. I started off saying my favorite was pepper pot or the shrimp. This is number one, the crab. Mm. I might have to get another piece. They're so good. Well, you have a lot of leftovers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. And you know what? We haven't even touched the roti. Mm -hmm. We have to have the roti. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we also have polori. Mm hmm. Polori. And uh, the plat bread, we have the um, spices bread and also regular plat bread. So let's get one of these out. It's a nice roti. So look at this. Open this up like this. Beautiful. And then we put this down here and use this to eat. So use some goat curry with it. Also, um, the shrimp goes well and also the yeah. same crab sauce. So we just get some of the, just like the roast, right? Forget getting actual shrimp here. Just mm -hmm. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. Oh, incredible. Guys, nice flaky bread, right? Mm, I think that's the top of a... I put a little bit chili. of achar on it also. A little bit of achar? Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? We're just mixing put things it a little bit of achar, man. You're going to blow your mind with a little bit of achar. I, I love your accent, by the way. Love her accent. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that another layer of flavor, right? It's another. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's fantastic. It. What I love about the go curry, it's so easy to eat, right? It's tender, man. Mm hmm. Fall off the bone. Okay, they said Sunny and David need their own restaurant. We need our own restaurant. Who wants to fund it? <laughs> <laughs> that sauce, right? That yeah. sauce? Oh, right, that right sauce. That. Just dropping the sauce on top. <laughs> mm hmm. It's a chili. 
<laughs> so I'll get this like this, the roti with the curry. All this curry. Oh, you're eating at big chili pepper there too. Am I? Mm hmm. Mm. You feel it? Oh my mm. goodness, you like spicy. Oh. That was heaven. <laughs> mm. I mean, it wasn't too hot. It's just that curry, that gravy in the bottom. Mm. Can I have some more? Just a little oh, yeah, bit? please. Help yourself. I'm just gonna like just grab this, guys. Just, like in here. Remember, I said you didn't finish your first plate, Sam. <laughs> I finished every plate here. He's finishing everything. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right. Johnny made some desserts. He made desserts, okay. You know what? I'm gonna have to try dessert. Oh, the, what the about one. the bread? You wanna or bread, you, bread? You, you tried your bread before we I tried the bread, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We try, I think we tried everything so far. What do you think? Uh, it's like great. Mm. Oh the egg ball. Double yolk egg balls. Mm. Double egg ball. Okay. Yeah. And then on the other side. And this is one. the regular. And this is the little cake uh, quail. Oops. A little kid. A little kid, wait, wait. Uh, oof. Oof. I need a knife for this. Oh, poor guy. I'll get this one. Mm, that's a double. It's a double. It had to be a double. Mm. If this is this the first course, you have still two more coming. You're right, bro. I'm done. <laughs> Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's so clumpy. Mm-hmm. Add this on top. Oh, this is achai. That's huge. Wow, what a massive egg ball. Thank you. Uh, we are, next time you come, we'll try to get the... Uh, Unofficial, the largest egg ball. Unofficially, the largest egg ball yes. in the world. We're yes. going to do it soon right here. Yes, yes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some of this on top. Ooh, look at that. Add some of that delicious curry on top. You like? Yeah. Well, I think the only thing we're missing right now is it desserts? Desserts. So what is this called? This is called Fat Top. This is also known as Corn Pone. It's a Corn Pone dessert with a co with a coconut and sugar topping which gelatinizes into like a custard. I also put a dragon fruit for the seeds for texture and for um, visual. And then tell us about this. You gotta try this, this one. I haven't one tried it yet. has a purple Ooh. Hubert and it's a vegetarian, vegan with coconut milk uh, cerny. Instead of using condensed milk, I use a brown sugar. I use low sugar because mama won't let me make <laughs> she won't let you? anything yeah. without uh, with uh, so Healthy. super a lot of sugar. I'm getting a little a little oh. crust right you here. No, I haven't tried to. Let's try it together. Ready? Yes, yeah. I want to try this. Ready, here we go. Wow, right? If you like cookie dough, this is the best. So I'll stick it. Mm hmm. Mm. Cookie dough. Wow, oh my gosh. that's really good, Johnny. I'm gonna get another piece it's right here. A little and cherry on top. I know you don't like and sweet, but that's not sweet too. at all. Not sweet. But not sweet. It's not sweet, but it's sweet. Yes. Mm. There's cinnamon, there's allspice leaf, and there's nutmeg in it. Take it away because I will eat the whole thing. <laughs> it's so good. Check it out, guys. Fantastic. And that's it, guys. Sandy's backyard kitchen here in Florida Keys. Key Largo, amazing. Key Largo, Key Largo. I, thank you so much for being here. It's been such a pleasure. I've been looking forward so long to meeting you. So. And you're thank doing you. so much good around the world, bringing the world to everybody else. And thank the you. food, and I love the idea you like spicy. Oh, I love the spicy. The idea you like spicy, we're friends, okay? Oh, we're friends again? Here yeah, we go, here, here we here go. Here we go. Easy. <laughs> We're friends, guys. Guyana, amazing country. I just visited it like three months ago. And this is Guyanese food in America made by beautiful chef sandy <laughs> backyard kitchen i don't even know if you're truly a chef or you're no, chef? No, no 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 i'm just i'm, I'm just food. a cook guys i'm a cook my son is the chef he's in the culinary but this Perfect. is what we do you know we just put stuff from the garden and put it together and this is what happens it's amazing okay yeah <laughs> and the crab curry for me number one pepper pot number two shrimp number three but everything was fantastic i loved it all egg ball is the street food of guyana this is just a must try if you ever get a chance to try that Oh, and the roti, roti yeah, not roti, roti. Roti, roti. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and let me know, would you ever go to Guyana? Have you ever tried Guyanese food? Please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one somewhere here. Woo, I got hot. <laughs>